Hi everyone, Chris on the course here, and today we're going to be looking at out of bounds. But before we go and get on with the video, you might be thinking, why on earth are you dressed like this? But today is actually National Christmas Jumper Day. All of the staff today are wearing Christmas jumpers. It's getting in the festive spirit. So let's go to out of bounds, and I've got a few scenarios today, a little bit of a quiz as well, quite an interactive one for today. And we're going to look at three scenarios to see if the balls are out of bounds or not. So come on over, come on over. So what we've got here then is far side, we've got out of bounds. That signifies the out of bounds area. So that we might be past one of the boundary fences on the course, for example. And then this side of the line, that signifies the course side in this case. So this is a mini version. One thing I will say then before we start and go on to the golf balls, there's a couple of things that you may notice here about the things that I've laid up out. First one is that we actually have a line between the posts. You won't always get that, but if you do get it, it's the line that counts rather than straight lines between the posts. You can use the line and that is your uh, boundary uh, marker, if you like. The second thing you may notice is this marker, we've purposely put that at an angle and that may or may not make things difficult later on when I ask you the questions, but maybe have a little think about that. So come on over, let's have a look at these golf balls then. So first scenario is this one, have a little think, do you think that's out of bounds? Do you think that's in bounds? Next one, this one here, do we think that is in bounds or out of bounds? And then the last one is this one here. Okay, so let's take those individually. First one, I'm hoping nobody's got this wrong. This one is clearly out of bounds. All of that golf ball is out of bounds. So that means that therefore that golf ball is out of bounds. The second one is a harder one, which is this one here. And that golf ball is out of bounds as well. The reason for that is because no part of the golf ball is on the course side compared to the markers that we said earlier on. So if we've got a line, we use the edge of the line closest to the course. But if we do not have a line, we use the bottom points of the markers on the course side. For, so for example, let's say we didn't have this line here. We would use this point here closest to the golf course. We would use this point here again at ground level line between the two. Those two points then extend upwards and downwards. Let's say your ball is suspended maybe in a bush or something like that, then you use those bottom points, extend them upwards or downwards. The fact that this is a bit slopey, that doesn't really matter in this case because it's at ground level. And then the third one over here, hopefully you've got the right answer by now if you hadn't already, and that's inbounds. Like I said, the reason that's in bounds is some part of that golf ball is on the golf course side of the boundary that we were talking about earlier on. So hopefully that's cleared everything up for you in terms of out of bounds. Don't forget, if you do hit one out of bounds, it is stroke and distance. So you have to go back to where you've last played from, play your shot, but you'd also add a penalty shot to that. So for example, off the tee, your first shot goes out of bounds, you add a shot, so your next shot would be off the tee again, and that would be your third shot. One of the things you may have noticed in the new rules is there can be a local rule that players can drop down where they think they've hit it out of bounds. But very important, we have not adopted that rule at this golf club. So you cannot do it and play that here. Okay, hopefully that's cleared everything up for you today. And it's Chris on the course.